our two speakers. I come from Kenya. So French was not taught. Aho igifaransa kitigishwa. And uh, we we were told English. Twigishwa mu cyongereza. And um but doesn't matter. Ariko ibyo ntacyo bivuze. Uh English or French does not change me. Igifaransa cyangwa icyongereza ntibimpindura. And then I thank you for, but I got a message. So I'm not going to deal with what you have dealt with. Uh, and then um, my brother, he has taken it further. And then I'm going to take it to the next level. I want to apply. I come from the school where I, I like to apply. Applying knowledge. Applying spiritual warfare. Destroying altars until I see they are destroyed. And so I'm going to apply all what the two have said. And I'm going to apply it on you. So I don't want you to look like you are tired. Uh, let me check when I'm starting because I was given uh, 30 minutes. So I'm starting at 12.15. So in case it gets nearer, please let somebody let me know. I, don't, I keep uh, time and I keep goats in my place. How does what we are learning here help you? That is my question. It is of no west for you to come all the way Okay. All the time and all the expenses. Uh, learn a few things. But you don't see how they apply. So I started with this kind of problem when I was young. I remember I started it in standard six. When I was in Sunday 6, we were told about um, how to find area of a circle. And we were told is pi r squared. Sorry? We were told is pi r squared. Just say that. <laughs> that was the formula. And we did it and we got the area. But I asked the teacher at, after we had done everything, what is pi? He told me it is 22 out of 7. And I asked him, where did it come from? How did we get it? The teacher beat me hard and threw me out of class. And all my time as a, as a student, I have very rough time. Because I want to see the application of the, skill, of the knowledge and of the skill. So our ministry, Christian Impact Mission, it's applying Christianity to every aspect of life. And if you get time, Google Christian Impact Mission. What we stand for and what we do. Application of knowledge. Application of skills. Application of theology. Application of faith. 
application of everything. Because there is no university that deals with that. The universities deal with more knowledge, more skills, and theological college, more knowledge, more theories, and no application. So to me, I'm bringing the application bit of what we were learning this morning. How do we apply the issue of authors? How can it affect our social, economic life? If it can. If it can't, then you, then you store it. That is our way of thinking. And that's what I'm bringing. Um, those who don't know... Um, I gave my life also to Jesus Christ as a young boy of 20 years. But I was a practicing Christian for over 10 years. And very successful one. Until I was made a Sunday school teacher. And I could stand in for the pastor when he is not in. But I was not saved. I was just a sinner. I knew how to play my cards. And I knew the Christian tone. You speak nicely and gently. And then you don't, you know, you, you know within the limits. But I came to a point when my sister was bewitched according to what I heard. She was bewitched at one around 1.30 and she died at around 3.30. And we used to go to the same church. And then it was alleged, it was alleged, she was bewitched by a member of our church. That's when I began to ask God, where are you in, in the equation of life? Where are you in the equation of religion? Because the witches seem to carry the day. And for that matter, I told God, if, if your religion does not change, I will leave it and I'll become a drunkard. I'll become a thief, a rapist, everything to show you your religion doesn't work. Miraculously, God sent somebody and he shared with me very powerful words. And these signs shall follow them, those who believe. These signs shall follow them, those who believe. They shall, now they shall cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick. And uh, they will do many things. I said that's the kind of thing I would want. Not the one where my sister is dying like a dog. By a member of a church. My pastor is hopeless, useless. He cannot help. So what is the point of being a Christian? Then the spirit of God came upon me. And I got saved. Transformed. Within one minute. Not by installment. These days I see people getting saved instrumentally. I got saved instantly. Mm? That's about, you know, 20 years ago. No, not 20 years ago. 
when I was 20 years, 55 years have come, and the thing is working. Jesus does it. I have evidence. So I went forth to, to check whether uh, Mark now 16, 15 after 17 works. To see whether I can cast out the devil. Because if I do it, then the witches will be subject to me. Actually, I wanted some power, if nothing else, to be able to tackle a witch and not to be threatened by the witch doctor. At least, if nothing else, if heaven doesn't come, at least I needed some power against the powers that I saw. And let me tell you, miracles began to happen. I began to pray for people and signs started following after today. And so, I've been to a crusade I'm a citywide crusade. And I don't lay hands on the people. The word that I received when I got saved. I've seen it work. Casting devils. But after casting devils, I came to another question. It looks like there are collection of demons that work as a, as a collective, corroborative, you know, system. When do they get their power? Who are they? Hmm? And they seem to affect our social economic life. That was about 25 years ago. I began to question how can we use the word of God to change our spectrum of a community? Not an individual demon. Because I'm now a graduate, 30 years graduate, of casting devils but I want to see large scale performance and I like evidence I am very scientific in what I do I document now so some 15 years ago I went to a community now I wanted to use what we are learning here in a community setting I've realized I did not read a scripture let me read a scripture so that you know a man of God in the book of Luke chapter 11 Luke chapter 11. And verse 21. These are the words when a strong uh, when a strong man armed keeper this palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger man, uh, when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided his spoils. I'm I'm talking about power equation. In the outer identification and destruction. How do you apply it? Then, then Jesus talks about of a strong man and a stronger man. 
Yesu yavuze kumunyamaboko avuga no kumunyamaboko urushijeho That's a kind of you know gospel I like Ibu nibwo butumwa nge nkunda So the strong man gospel the strong and the stronger man Umugabo w'umunyamaboko no mugabo urusha amanyamaboko umaboko umunyamaboko Those that, and then the third word I want to bring forth is stronghold. Altars deal with strongholds. Strongholds are those systems, powers that hold you or hold a community from advancing. Ibihome ni bya bintu ni ya mikorere ikikiza community cyangwa societe cyangwa ikagukugota ubwawe ikakubuza gutera imbere They hinder progress bikakubuza gutera imbere They destroy your progress bigasenya gutera imbere kwawe and uh, it becomes impossible bikaguhindukira ibidashoboka for you to operate normally for you to operate to function normally so when you are, we are talking about the strongholds the devil uses strongholds in my simple definition a stronghold is anything that holds a person or a community strongly are you with me? Are you following? Wonderful. I want you to follow keenly. And uh, so, in the strongholds, they hinder your progress the progress of the of a community the progress of a nation and they make it impossible to operate or make it totally inoperative but when Jesus comes he makes the inoperative operational and that's why I come in and so, 15 years ago, a poor community in a dry area in Kenya. You can go get in, in, along Yata Plateau. Yata Plateau is a Naso area. And receives um, you know, rainfall, scanty rainfall that are not sufficient for crop production. So the people there are poor uh, are poor they are witches they are everything primitive and backward poor pastoralist now former pastoralist because the animals died and so I decided to go there. With, with the experience of altar destroying altars and strongholds. Because once I graduate, I must go to the next level. After graduation, I must go to the next level. So when I went, the community told me, Bishop, we have very serious problems. We want relief food only. And I told them, I have no relief food for you. But I'm coming in the name of the Lord. They told me five problems. As a result of the altars there. So I'll give you how we destroyed the altars there. And now after the altars were destroyed. Now the five problems were over. Number one. They told me we don't have water. Which looks a normal, you know, is no more problem. 
which everybody should understand and, and comply. We got 15 to 20 kilometers to fetch water. Number two, when we do farming, the rains are for three, four weeks. They come as floods and they go. So we never, we never harvest our food. So for 10 years you have never harvested. So can you be faster? Because of 30 minutes and they are gone. Okay. Good. You can say the major important thing. Eh? Okay. Some of these people have an understanding of little English. Eh? Good. So now, um, we have no food. Number three, there is a lot of witchcraft in this place. Once you build a new house, they bewitch you, you die. And they gave me five examples of people that I knew. Number four, our children, they told me our children don't go to school. Number five, they told me we are generally poor. And according to economic um, analysis of a year before, they were declared the poor of the poorest in the region. So there was evidence. There was economic index evidence. And everything is documented. So, about for those five things, I told them, I have come here in the name of the Lord. And if you believe in God, and believe me as his servant, never again, or your hand like this, Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Will anyone? Hmm? Anyone? Walk even a kilometer instead of 15 or 20. As, as my God liveth. Number two. If you believe in God and believe in um, me as his servant, nobody will sleep without knowing what to cook for his children. Number three, nobody will have um, uh, his wife giving birth and cannot take his wife to hospital or take his children to school. Never again shall anyone bewitch another as my God liveth. I'm a graduate of casting demons. Eh? Destroying altars. Eh? Now I want to deal with strongholds. I said this is the formula. Formula number one. We are going to begin spiritual warfare. I, I told them exactly what he told them. And I told them uh, the African tradition because I know it. And I grew up in witchcraft zone. And my sister was bewitched. So I know these things. My grandfather was the, was the leader of that thing you are calling the altar. And he handed over to my father. So there was that community hall task. There was one for the community. And there was another one for the bigger community. And there was another one for the family. So mine is not theory. I know how altars are treated. 
but I but now I come from another school of thought. I don't belong to my grandfather's religion. I don't come to my from my father's religion. Because after all, my sister was bewitched when my father was in charge of the altars. So they are useless. All there is confusion in the altars. So I, you know, and now I'm going to this place called Yata. Having graduated from all these universities of experience. So formula number one. Spiritual warfare. I got the churches around. And I told them spiritual warfare. And I told them that is not enough. We are going to apply it. And we began to apply. We started spiritual mapping. Where, you know, he, my, my, my brother said that the, the altars might be deposited in a, in a place or in an animal or on a tree or whatever. In this case, there was a witch doctor. A strong witch doctor. Powerful witch doctor. When you handle her place, she had three, you know, uh, banners. Three yeah. banners of, of leader of power, authority. One banner is black. The next one is white. And the final one is red. And the red, red. To show that she has, you know, those are the three stages of witch, witchcraft. I'm not teaching about witchcraft. But you see, there are those three stages. So this person was in the red, red. This one needs to say a word and things happen. This one can sacrifice you and you are dead according to what I, we knew and what we saw. This one was feared. Terrible. But I must come in a, like a more terrible because we are talking about stronger man and a stronger man. Politicians come from the cities to be given power. The one they talked about. To, to lead. And to, um, to be able to lead in influence and, and our power and our wealth. Businessmen kill to that witch doctor. And all types of people are there. And some of the funny preachers you hear performing funny miracles, fake funny miracles, they also go there. But I'm not going there for those miracles. I am going there because of a stronger God. I'm, a, I'm the stronger man. The Jesus in me is a stronger man. He is a stronger man. So now, I lead my youth. And I'm left in the church. And they go to the the, to, to the most referred, feared lady, not in the village, not in the, almost in the entire country. Her fame is, she's the one who ordains other witches. Even there was one who was there to be ordained. When they preached to her, after prayer, Mm. This lady gave her life to Jesus Christ. And she gave her witchcraft grade 3. Which is the black magic. And they came running very excited. Even they forgot to lead her to Christ. 
You know, when young people, you know, children, when, when, when they see those wonders, they went to the witch, they never died. They went to the witch, they never died. They are prevailed over the witch. But within three hours, all the altar presidents were collected. There were no phones. How they were collected, I don't know. And they came to me. Why are you disturbing our religion? Why are you disturbing? Why are you stealing um, the witch, you know, the powers of our, of our, of our, of our, of our priests? You know, naturally I'm rude. Naturally I'm arrogant. And I use it for the sake of Christ now. I told them, let the gods fight. Don't fight for your God. Let the gods fight. Why are you fighting for your God? I'm not fighting for my God. Let the gods fight. Yes, simple. You, you represent gods. You represent altars. Let the altars fight with my altar. Destroying the altar. Practically, not theoretically, not theologically, but practically. It was not only the, the witchcraft. The witch doctor said, um, she invited me to come to her house uh, after two days. So that we can decide how we are going to cool the community because there's going to be a big commotion. But together with the witch doctor, there was a big snake. A big snake. That was fed blood and milk. Don't just continue. For, for over 40 years. So it looks like I discovered the power was not in the witch. The power was invested in the snake. Immediately the lady gets alive to Jesus Christ. The snake died. It died there. That was serious. The power of the community was not even in the witch. We discovered later. It was not in the flags. It was in the snake. You could not do any development in the area. You build a school, it breaks. They build a small market there. It closed. Nothing could work in that community. They were irreparably poor. And nothing could work. Now, the effect. I said we are going to talk about when you destroy the altar, so what? What, happen, uh, uh, what happens? They only problem will be my 30 minutes. Tell me how many are remaining. Are they, they are over. Kabisa. Totally. All of them. How are you counting? <laughs> ah, it is true. It is true they are dead. They are gone. So what do I do? Okay. Okay. But at least you have seen the others, eh? Practically, eh? Eh, Kumba talking about others is not easy, eh? Uh -huh. Now listen to me. Now 
My, the issue was not about snakes. The issue was about the strongholds. And I came under strongholds. Eh? Because they dealt with altars, I was only trying to give evidence to what they have said. After doing all the teaching and the learning, now we are applying it. So now, it is about a poor community. Who have no water. Who have uh, uh, no food. Who have nothing. They can't take their children to school. There is no market. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mortality rate very high. So now, I am now coming now after the snake. After the snake. Hey, it's called Nzoka. That's our language, you know? Nzoka. Yes, uh, now I'm coming after the snake dead. No, the, no, the, I've we have destroyed our altar, we have destroyed our strongholds. Eh? Now we must, now we are doing step three. We are moving forward. You remember the, the chicken that was tied for three days? Eh? It is still where it was. Now we are telling the chicken to go away and go and feed. So I told the people we are going to do the, uh, the Abraham principle. We are going to dig, you know, dig, you know, beaches. We are going to do, diva, you know, you know boreholes. In dry area, you can do, you know, uh, bo, you know shallow wells very easily. So using Abraham principle, the first thing is change the ecology. When you go to a place and the demons are gone, now you change the ecology for your sustainability. When the witches are dead, when the witches are dead, that's not the end of the story. You don't need to begin to, to be proud and celebrate. Now we need to, uh, to take action. Because the strongholds were preventing. They were entering. So now you are moving to the next level. To prosperity. Within one year, they were able to do 100 water pans. 1,300 water pans. When aircraft came uh, the following year, they said that's the biggest human activity done in Africa. Every, every came to document it also. So the issue of water got finished within a year. After today, now there are over 8,000 dams done by the people themselves. I told them how to use the water to do irrigation. And they started irrigation. They got food. They started growing how I value crops. The poor of the poorest community became the rich of the richest. Now the economic index changed from the worst to the best. Number three. We, I'm not going to say that. Number three, witchcraft. Now, I knew witchcraft. They depend on powers. Eh? In the hair. So, we, are, we arrested the powers. 
spiritual warfare the stronger man and we prayed against the witches we read the book of Nahum chapter 3 verse, verse 4 and 5 the book of Nahum chapter 3 chapter 3 verse 4 and 5 it says God is annoyed of the witches and you strike them naked. We prayed. Somebody was found the, next, the following week naked bewitching. He was beaten senseless. They said the, the men of God prayed against witchcraft. That was the end of witchcraft in that community. Now they started growing high value crops for export. They got, money, they got money to take their children to school. The power of destroying altars. 